coming to on campus jobs again there is competition mm-hmm. lot of competition. hey everyone uh, welcome to another interview with another very special person samyak he is currently pursuing his masters in computer science in umass boston and uh, we are going to learn from him about his experience today uh, but before we do that uh, i would love to hear a little bit about yourself samyak from you hi everyone uh, so uh, i'm samyak i am from uh, nasik maharashtra in india and i before coming to us for my masters i worked as a software development engineer uh, in in a startup called vikara and mm-hmm. i i came to uh, i chose umass boston for to pursue masters in computer science mm-hmm. uh, the reason for choosing umass boston was of course it was in boston which is one of the which is home to one of the most uh, premier universities and and uh, the, the city is pretty pretty amazing with, mm-hmm. all, with people from all the uh, all over world coming to study here and work here right so yeah uh so what was your profile like when you applied uh for ms in us so um i didn't i didn't have a very good score on gre which was, which was around 304 on 340 and i had 7.5 on my in my ilts got it apart from that i had 8.26 gpa in in from engineering got so it that yeah got it now once you had this profile with you you must mm-hmm. have applied to a uh, few universities like let's say 5 to 7 i think yeah uh, and then you must have got few admits mm-hmm. right so walk us through the process of uh, which all universities you applied to and then which admits you got and from that how did you choose uh, umass so uh, initially i applied to um, i think uic university of illinois chicago mm-hmm. uh, university of texas at dallas mm-hmm. arizona state university and uh, northeastern university and umass boston got it and apart f- from these universities i got admit into northeastern and umass got it uh, the reason for not choosing northeastern was i uh, they were i got uh, main campus which is in po- yeah, portland main campus mm-hmm. and and which was a fairly newer campus and i felt that umass boston was in you must postpone was relatively better than that campus mm-hmm. so but that was one of the reasons and second reason was uh you must postpone has a very good uh, uh you must I, i there was a professor uh in in you must postpone uh, under which i wanted to work I, yeah. i i found that i found out his work was very very interesting and like i i i was looking forward to work with him on that part yeah on that part got it i have this one doubt uh, so i know there is umass amherst mm-hmm. right and then there is umass boston are these two same or different no so umass amherst is 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 actually a, a very good uni- is a, is a better university okay uh, if we compare it to umass boston Uh, at that moment of time i i did not so when i applied it was very late for the application process mm-hmm. and i think at that point of time i must applications were closed so, got it yeah. got it understood understood so now uh, once uh, thank you for sharing by the way all of this right yeah. um, now once people land in us right one of the first things that they try to figure out is their living right right so in terms of umass boston what are those few communities uh, which people generally live in like you would see most of the indians living in those right, uh, right, or three communities yeah. uh, mm-hmm. what are those communities if you can share about them um, and so, how do you go to and fro from university if you are living in one of those university uh, one of those communities right so uh, there are multiple communities or or like apartments that you can find here 
two mm-hmm. most sought after communities are uh, harbor point on the bay which is and peninsula apartments which are right beside the university so it's it's like 500 meters maximum from the university so it's it's that close those, right. those communities are so um, that and uh, there are a lot of apartments in the area nearby it's called dorchester and uh, yeah so these are the few dorchester uh, dorchester is an area so you can find apartments and townhouses there easily and uh, yeah the other two were harbor point on the bay and peninsula apartments got it got it got it uh, so uh, now one of the other things which people think about when they you know and actually uh, when they are uh, shortlisting the university this is mm-hmm. one of the parameters that they look for which is the overall expense Right. right so how's the overall expense with um umass boston and if you can split your answer in two parts uh, in terms of what is the overall tuition fees for two years right mm-hmm. then what are your overall expenses over two years if you can right. okay so for um one year i f- for the first year my fees was around uh 30 35 36000 just Got the you must fees so if you dub, um yeah right so if if you were to you know for the second year it is relatively lower since because there are lots oh. of fees that are neglected so right. more or less you can consider 50 to 60000 dollars right around that Got and it. living living expenses so boston is one of the few cities in usa which is fairly expensive Mm. after um, of course not unlike new york or or uh, california city is mm. in california but it's still expensive so my the rent that i pay here is around 7 to 800 dollars mm-hmm. for a uh, and we are four people living in the apartment so two bath two bed so that and other expenses i think it so the total expense that could go per month would be uh, around $1000 got it so over two years it would be around $24000 yeah. uh, yeah. and if you round it up let's say $25000 plus right. uh, 50 or let's say 55 from the tuition fees so about $80000 for the whole master yes yes got it got it now uh, moving on to the next part which is on campus jobs and scholarships right mm-hmm. so does umass boston has any scholarship which can reduce your fees a little bit are there rta jobs which if you get uh, it reduces your tuition fees and how is the in general uh, on campus job scenario Are there are any tips or tricks you can share yeah so um, unfortunately i don't think umass boston gives out any scholarships mm-hmm. but um, there are these consultancies which are directly linked to the university I, mm-hmm. i went through uh, shorelight okay. so so they awarded me 2000 2000 dollar scholarship 3000 dollar scholarship so got it you could th- that is one of them and uh, regarding tas and rs like any other university it's it's fairly tough here to <clears throat> to get those <throat> positions and there is there there's a lot of competition with you mm-hmm. uh, the i haven't received the assistantship yet tas and rs and i don't think one would usually get those in the in their first semester because uh, professors generally here prefer the uh, you know if you are if you are pursuing a, a masters program here if if you had a bachelor's program from this country or or the same university mm-hmm. you would probably get an assistantship quickly but Got since it. since you are an international student they don't really trust trust your scores and they they don't really evaluate what you have done in in your undergrad so mm-hmm. if uh, you you can you can try you can you can get the assistantships in the next semesters given that you have a very good relationship with your professor and and your goal your research goals and the professor research goals are aligned mm-hmm. so that and um regarding the scholarship or the fee discount that one can get through these assistantships are 
for ta i think it is 30% and for research assistantship you get around 50% scholarship okay got it for the yeah for for studying in umass and coming to on campus jobs again there is competition a mm-hmm. lot of competition but if 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 you uh if you uh you know send follow up emails and and continuously keep an eye on uh so uh, about our university the on campus jobs are usually released on handshake it's a it's a, it's a similar platform to uh, internshala in india or mm-hmm. or uh, indeed similar platform right. so yeah you, you can get uh, the university releases their positions through a uh, handshake um, right. there are other positions as well which are usually not released on handshake but you'll have to really search for it so um, you can you, you can go to every department get their info somehow mm-hmm. email them uh, write them good cover letters and 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 explain them about your skills required for the job and and follow 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 up with them every now and then that mm-hmm. way you you can you can easily get a job here got it right it it only requires consistency which many people which many students usually don't have because they, uh, because after trying for a while ma- many of them give up and and yeah, that is yeah. how the competition is eliminated <laughs> got it got it are there uh, like dining jobs which people can get uh... yeah there are but there so the dining jobs uh, and the jobs in the in in the rest, in the restaurants or or like dining halls basically are are f- fairly low because the campus is not that huge but it's there if you if you like i said before if you search mm-hmm. for it and and uh, follow follow up with them because a friend of mine he he did the same thing he mm-hmm. was searching uh he just got a job so he he was he was searching for it he 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 for uh, he, he sent them follow up emails and he got a job in the in the dining so got it yeah. got it understood uh so now moving on to the next part which is the curriculum right mm-hmm. uh, so how is the cur- overall curriculum of computer science in um uh, umass uh, what are those few subjects which are really good which either you have taken or you might have heard from your seniors that okay definitely take this subject uh, what are those uh, subjects and how is the overall curriculum right so uh, in umass there are we have three yeah the, the, we have to take two theory subjects and three capstone subjects uh, for for the project and i had um, when i completed one theory and one ca- capstone project So, uh, capstone subject so mm-hmm. i f- i felt that the for the capstone subject which was uh, object oriented des- designs was w- was very very interesting and 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 i i since i had uh, worked in, in in the industry for a year i mm-hmm. felt that i could uh, if if i were to go back to my job i would have i could have applied those concepts and and uh, made my code base better mm-hmm. so th- that 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 i f- feel is an important subject got it second is uh, so if 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 the folks want to uh, pursue um, their career in in artificial intelligence or computer visions there are subjects for that and there are pre- they are pretty interesting i'm taking neural networks this semester so right so i, I was start uh, it started right from the basics as to what a neuron is and till uh, it went on till uh, deep learning convolutional network neural okay. network networks and all uh, it's it's very practical and 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 and, and I, i i i feel like it's 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 very good for you in in the long run got it got it now uh, moving on uh, to our last almost the last uh, part for this conversation mm-hmm. is internships and on campus jobs Right. Right. So I know you are in first semester, but uh, you must have seen your seniors, or uh, you must have heard from your uh, super seniors that how is the scenario overall? Uh, where are people getting jobs? Uh, any tips or tricks that they shared with you? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, in terms of um, getting a job, I'm pretty sure you must be in 
uh, in the hunt for internship for yourself yeah so how is yeah. your overall experience so far so um yeah from what from most of the seniors that i've talked to everyone have done their internship summer internship mm-hmm. so i have a feeling that you you will eventually get an internship here mm-hmm. uh, and about boston so after california boston is the second place for st- second hub of startups right so there are there are a lot of startups here mm-hmm. in cambridge in in near in downtown so you you do have a lot of opportunities here uh, and uh, right but but there aren't so yeah one uh negative point of, of, about uh, umb is that there weren't many uh, campus fairs career mm. fairs in the university itself mm. i had to go out in the in downtown or in other universities to attend them mm-hmm. which the, yeah so uh, that was a negative point but since since it's boston since you are it is in boston you do get a lot of campus fairs you do get a lot of career fairs so you can you can reach out to those com- companies and like you can talk to the recruiters there so that shouldn't be a problem um uh, my search so about my search um it's it's fairly going well uh, i've applied to a lot of companies a lot of them and uh, i have given interviews in quite a few of them mm-hmm. although i haven't uh, got any uh, new uh, uh, i mean new interview uh, opportunities yet but mm-hmm. it, it is uh, i mean it it will I, i think it will take some time right you know mm-hmm. because summer internship is is far away and 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 yeah. mo- several companies that i've talked to aren't really they are not immediately they are actually looking for interns immediately so mm-hmm. if, if anyone is in right now in started from spring semester they can they can get internships right now Mm-hmm. so there are opportunities right now and and i think i have a strong feeling that i might get a internship soon yeah. got it yeah that is good that's a good feeling <laughs> yeah uh, well thank you so much uh, samyak for sharing all of these it, it was all a pleasure i mean, i'm uh, honored <laughs> for everyone who is watching definitely leave your favorite tip or takeaway from this video in the comment section below uh, and i'll see you in the next video